Hello class, this is section 7.4 and we are going to work out an example that uses the Laplace transform integral formula. So we have to calculate the Laplace transform of sine t over t and one clue that we might want to use the integral formula is that we have uh, over t here and we know that the function is a lot easier if you could just like ignore the over t. So let's do this calculation and the first step is to remember have it written down here in the little rule that we have to first check that the limit of um, f t over t as t goes to zero is going to be finite. And let's do that, and that's typically a really simple um, L'Hopital rule. So the limit as t goes to zero of sine t over t. If we use L'Hopital's rule, we take the derivative of both the numerator and denominator, and we get cosine of t over 1. So as t is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so this is equal to 1, and therefore indeed our limit is finite and we can use the formula. Let's see what the formula says. The formula says that the, the, of, uh, the, the Laplace transform of ft over t is the integral of the Laplace transform of the original function. So this means that Laplace transform of sine t over t is equal to the integral as s goes to infinity of f sigma d sigma, where f sigma is the, sorry, fs is the Laplace transform of uh, just sine t. All right, and uh, we have to figure out first what this Laplace transform is, and let's consult a table. Our table says that sine kt corresponds to k over sine squared plus k squared, so this is going to be one over s squared plus one. And so we need to figure out the Laplace transform of sine t over t, and this is going to be equal to the integral from infinity to s of 1 over sigma squared plus 1 d sigma. This is going to require a trig substitution, and this is a tangent trig substitution. So we take sigma as tangent of theta, and remember that uh, d sigma is going to be secant squared theta d theta. Right, and uh, making the substitution, we're going to have uh, to change the limits a little bit. So this is going to be arctan of infinity, arctan of s. I should make this capital arctan actually. Right, and this is going to be tangent squared theta plus one because we replace all the sigmas with theta. And d sigma is going to be equal to secant squared theta um, d theta. So that's our trig trigonometric transform. And there's also a trig identity that says that tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. And so we can apply that identity 2 and this gets us secant squared theta over secant squared theta d theta which of course cancels and we have arctan arctan s1 d sigma and this is actually pretty easy so we have um, arctan of infinity minus arctan of s. Arctan of infinity is just going to be pi over 2, of course. And this is going to be arctan of s. And there you have it. We have our Laplace transform of sine t over t as pi over 2 minus arctan over s.